Hey there planners, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I have for you Planny Things Autumn Vibes Collection. This is a fabulous collection. You guys are going to want to check it out, so I hope you stay tuned. So hey there, welcome back. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here on my channel. So I hope you'll subscribe at the end of the video. And today I have for you Planny Things, the Autumn Vibes Collection. It is awesome. So we're gonna get into this collection. So it did come to me packaged nicely and everything. And if you've seen my unboxings and reviews before from Planny Thing, they come in like these cute, like crunchy, colorful, vibrant, Sacks. I know that sounds lame, but they're super fun to get. I mean, we all love Happy Mail, especially if it's plain thing. So you'll definitely have to check that out on my shorts. I did a preview and then also on Instagram. But today I finally can sit down and play and flip through and share this all with you. So thanks to Amber for sending this over to me so that way I can share with you guys what she has to offer for this fall. You guys are gonna wanna pick this up. The link will be down below because this is kind of like a favorite and it will sell out fast. So I can tell you that the sticker books are, everything's individually. By the way, it's not like a subscription. She doesn't do that anymore. She does release collections. So this is like her Autumn's collection and it's available now. The books you can buy individually, the washi you can buy individually. Um, we have paper, we have a notepad pen, and this awesome planner cover. And I will go over the prices, but definitely check the link down below. All right, so we'll do the sticker books because I know that's like everyone's favorite. So we have three here. We have Pumpkin Vibes. It's 600 stickers, 30 sticker sheets. Then we have Happy Halloween, 475 stickers. Again, 30 sticker sheets. And then Autumn Leaves and Florals, which this is kind of a combination she does often. So if you love florals and then you love Autumn, you're really gonna love this one. So this one's 558 stickers, super fun. And then I love that each of her sticker books has like this cute little icon cover so that way it's kind of easy when you're looking for a certain sticker book you can just pull it by this little icon okay so these um i will put prices in the video so that way you guys can get an idea so let's flip through autumn leaves and florals oh my gosh so pretty set this washi to the side so you guys can get a good look okay so we have some florals here, and these are like her new clear stickers. They're like super soft clear stickers. And you get two pages of each design. Then you get some cool bouquets. Um, these are really great to do an easy spread with borders and things. Of course, you can definitely cut these up and make your own little clusters, make your own little bouquets, probably add some pumpkins to it. So you get two pages. All right, so then we have some more florals. Again, all clear. And then we have the little bouquets that match the first two florals. And then we get like a functional page and these are all paper. So you have like a sidebar sticker, which you can turn horizontally if you use the EC Petite, or if you have a horizontal layout, you can totally just flip that sticker right there. And then you have a full box of this beautiful background pattern of florals. And then you got some with like the little trim on it and then some circles down here. And these are all paper. Again, you get two pages, which is really nice. That way you can have extra. Okay, so then we get some leaves, so pretty. This is what really does it for me with fall, is like when you see the leaves changing and they start to fall and they're crunchy, just it gives it that fall mood. I love fall. All right, we got some other fall elements with like acorns. Not really sure what these are. I think they used to call them horse apples or something. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know. In Texas, um, there's like these ginormous 
green balls with all these spiky things on them. I think that's what they're called. I'm not really sure. Don't give them to your horses, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, and you get another page, and those are clear. And then what's something new, I haven't seen these in her uh, sticker books before, is like these doodle um, sketch black and white leaves. They're really pretty. Again, these are clear and super soft. So that is the sticker there. I like these. These will be great for like a Halloween spread as well. Okay, and then you have your functional page. I love the color tones, everything. Color coordinates. I'm gonna have to try to get through these sticker books really quick because there's a lot to share with you guys. And then we have some sunflowers. These are my favorite. Some cute bouquets. And then this page, oh, this page is super gorgeous. I love that. Can you imagine that? If you're going to the pumpkin patch and you can use these stickers and add some cute pumpkins. So two pages of the functional um, paper boxes. And then we have another floral set. The colors are a little bit different. You have some blue tones and some rich orange. And then the beautiful bouquets, this is really pretty. If you're going to a wedding, I don't know, this just always reminds me of a wedding, but if you're going to one in the fall, this would be really pretty. If you're planning one, you could use this to decorate your page, maybe give you some color inspiration. There's the other page, and then the functional um, boxes to go with it. This is really pretty. I just love the teals. All these colors are so gorgeous together. Okay, so that is Autumn Leaves and Florals. I would have to say the sunflowers and the leaves are my favorite, and then this last floral set is my absolute favorite. So super pretty. Okay, so next up let's do Pumpkin Vibes. Oh my gosh, is this like a pumpkin lover's dream? This sticker book is a must have. Like. She just did a fabulous job with this collection. Let's flip through this sticker book. First page here is super cute. You could definitely use this in September and October and November. Um, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, this would be really cute to do all your food prep pages. I definitely do that every year, but I'm hoping this year I don't have to cook. I don't know. I want to be catered to. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anywho, this would be a cute page for that. It's just so pretty. I love all those colors. Again, these are that soft clear sticker. Then this page is set up a little different from her other sticker books. I love this. So you get three full vertical um, decorative boxes here. Then you get your um, smaller header half boxes and this hexagonal solid stickers here, which are really cute. I love these for layering. So you get like a great layering sheet here. Two pages and um, it would be nice if these were a little bit different. That way you could get a different design but still get the same colored boxes. But regardless, I love those colors. This one's my favorite. I like the contrast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is my favorite. This definitely gives me Tim Burton vibes, Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, it definitely gives me those 80 vibes and like going to your teacher's room and she has all those, you know, cute vintage novelty pumpkins and things. Like, I just love all that. Um, super cute. So these are clear. You got two pages. Oh my gosh, that ghost is so cute. Oh, we have one that looks like Jack. Oh my gosh, my daughter's gonna love this stickers. So you get two pages of, this one's got like smaller pumpkin heads. 
And then the, these are a little bit larger, which is nice. So you get two pages of those. And then you have your functional paper stickers to go with it. Love the colors, very traditional Halloween colors. Cool. All right, then you have more um, kind of like a homey vibe pumpkin colors. I feel like these are definitely like the colors I used in my kitchen last year. Cute. Then you have some cute different elements. This is new, I really like this. Definitely like pumpkin, farm, um, decorative sticker, super cute. You have these three here are like an overlay and they're clear. So it has like this empty space here. So it's like a cute little overlay. Oh, that's really cute. Really different, nothing that I have seen in the sticker world, so that's really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at these stickers here. How pretty is this? She does fabulous covers, and we'll get to the one here, but wouldn't this been really pretty in a planner cover? Like I love her prints and the one she comes out with. And this color combination is awesome. All right, so then just like in the other one with the leaves, we have one here with pumpkins. And um, it's really pretty. It's got like this faded look to it. It looks like a line art type of illustration. That's really pretty. Those are clear. And then we have these pumpkins. These give me like velvet vibes, like they're velvet pumpkins. Really cute. These would probably pair well with the florals in the back here, or even the sunflowers, I think that would be really pretty. Okay, so here are the paper functional stickers that match. I love those color tones. And then we get a fun and flirty one. This one's really cute. I love the purples and the pink. That would be a cute spread to do with any of the villains. If you guys have any Happy Planner villains sticker books, this would be cute with that. Or the Wrong Wrong Halloween um, book that Wrong Wrong is launching Thursday the 18th. You guys wanna get your hands on that one. But those sticker books would look cute together. And then we have some more um, pumpkins, more neutral tones. And then this looks very paint-like, really pretty. Oh, and then we have some more fun ones. These are cute. So all pumpkins in this sticker book. This is crazy. This is, a, again, a pumpkin lover's dream. Really great. So this is Pumpkin Vibes. Last up, we have Happy Halloween. Oh my gosh. This is all dedicated to Halloween. I don't think she did something like this. Let me check. No, this is her very first dedicated Halloween sticker book because she, in the past, she's released like seasonal sticker books. So I have two here. Um, this one I think was released last year, maybe the year before, but this one, um, is the, her newest one. So it's like all the seasons. So you do get some Halloween stuff in there. Um, so you'll definitely want to check that out if you're interested. And then to, you know, pair with it, she did come out with like houses and trees. She has um, her first one, which is part one, and then part two. I don't think you need both. So you'll just have to pick which one you prefer. Um, but because these have like cute autumn leaves in it, I think that would be great too. So let's flip through Happy Halloween. Oh my gosh, this is like a dream if you love Halloween. Okay, so we have like fun, clear stickers of all the jack-o'-lanterns and their fun faces. So if also, if you are doing October Daily, I think you should spread the word because this sticker book would be great on your Halloween card or Halloween stash. 
I know I'm gonna be excited about it. I'm gonna have to try to put something together because I definitely wanna get down on October Daily. I've always wanted to do a mini, but I'm not really sure. Like a mini micro that Happy Planner used to have. Actually, I have the little one right here that I'm gonna swatch the washi in. I think that would be cute, something easy, something I know that I can stick to. Okay, look at this page. This has like all the ghouls and Halloween treats, like so cute. That's one of my favorite things. I love going to downtown Disney. Um, so even if you don't have like a pass or anything, you can go to downtown Disney's or the hotels and still get like some of the Halloween treats. But I love going and getting that. Um, so when September rolls around, we are definitely going and trying all the new Halloween sweets. So you get two pages and they're clear and it's fun to make them too. Okay, so this page is um, kind of like the uh, first book and you have your sidebar, two decorative full box stickers there, then two box, half boxes with the little cute Halloween elements. I love the trick-or-treater. It's got like a cute cat. I love the colors, very vintage vibes. Ooh, then we get some spooky houses. Super cute. All your little trick-or-treating vibes here. I don't really do haunted houses, um, but I think it would be fun to maybe set an audiobook. Um, to use these stickers. Like you could decorate a page and put your books that you wanna read or definitely like an audio book or maybe a podcast. I, I listen to a certain podcast this time of year and it's just awesome. Okay, so then you have your functional boxes stickers here, two pages. Now these two are blank. You don't have any decorative boxes, but that's okay, more, um, Bases boxes, the better. And then we have some ghosts here. Super cute. These are more cutesy. I like that. A little bit of both. Then we have spider webs, which I think are really, really great. They're really perfect for layering. Um, I love spider webs and planner sticker books, especially around this time of year. Um, however, I'm not a fan of spiders. I just, I'm, I have a huge fear of spiders. I remember one time in my planner videos, I don't know if you guys have been watching me for so long, it either was in la last year or 2020, a, a spider legit landed. <laughs> I was so freaked out. I don't know, if I can find it, I will leave it down below, but I mean, that was a while ago. Um, let me know if you've been here that long and post a spider for me. <laughs> Put a little spider emoji in the comments. Okay, yeah, I don't, I just, oh, they're so creepy. All right, so then we have some cool looking trees. I love that. Trees are like my favorite, kind of like, um, I'm not so much as a flower person, but like when it comes to like being outdoors, I just, trees are awesome, I just love trees. But anyways, these are really cool. You can use these for some scenes if you do a lot of scene spreads in your planner. And then we get an awesome page here. Again, this will be really great for memory keeping, scrapbooking, October daily. I know there's this new thing called memory decks is really cool. I've seen that in the crafting world. Um, so these are like dripping um, fonts that say spooky, trick or treat, 31, boob party, October all that jazz. You actually get two pages, which is really nice. And then we have um, basic black with some decorative stickers with the little skeleton and ghost. Two pages of that one. Ooh, and then we get some more fun Halloween element stickers, which is really cool. This is something that you don't necessarily see. Um, and so I really appreciate that. So. Uh, we have like a witch and then a pumpkin with stars and a cauldron. Got a hat down here that kind of gives you Harry Potter vibes. Um, it's just really cute. I'm excited. I love Halloween. Drop a pumpkin emoji in the comments if you love Halloween as well. And if not, drop a leaf if you are more of a fall person. Okay, so... 
Okay, so this page is really cute. It's got some like banners and balloons. Maybe, maybe you're throwing a Halloween party and you need to put together a supply list and things. I know we've kind of missed that, missed out on that in the past couple years, but maybe this is the year for you. Super cute. I was excited because we finally got trick-or-treaters. We've always wanted trick-or-treaters and last year we finally got trick-or-treaters and it was so much fun. So I'm hoping to decorate my porch more and have more trick-or-treaters. All right, this one's really cute. Again, this gives me Harry Potter vibes. Um, you got two decorative boxes here with like books and candles and like potions. Really cute, I love the colors. And then lastly, if you're a pet lover, I know Amber is, she has two cute dogs. You guys definitely wanna check her out on her YouTube channel. She does share a lot of behind the scenes and vlogs so you can get to know Amber. And then she has two little, two cute dogs. It's really cute. Um, I'm a cat lady, so this is really cute. Uh, I've never tried to um, do like a little ghost, but that would be super cute. Oh my gosh, this page is adorable. I always buy my cats, I have two cats, um, hat pieces. I don't give them a full costume. Um, they just don't do anything. If I put a full costume, they just lay there. <laughs> but if I have like a neck piece or a hat piece, um, I can get a little bit more movement, but it's always fun to do. That's kind of like a, a bucket list or just something that I try to do is take pictures of them for Halloween. It's just super cute. Okay, here's your functional decorative page. Oh my gosh, this sticker scene down here is so cute. So I love this. You guys gotta let me know which one's your favorite and which one you are going to pick up. Happy Halloween, pumpkin vibes, autumn leaves and florals. And again, um, these probably will s sell out pretty quickly because they're super popular. Okay, next let's um, talk about the pen she's releasing. This is cute, this is a first. I love the mix gems and jewels in here. So it's got like the Halloween vibes. Super cute, definitely great for um, putting your planner bag or pen case together. This is super cute, definitely great for photos. Um, I just love this. It is a ballpoint pen, it does twist and it's black. And I just love the crystals and I think that's what makes it super cute is the mixture of gems in there. I love that it's Halloween. Okay, so then you get this awesome notepad and these are really great. I love switching these out here in my office or downstairs in our family office. And they're just really great for on the go list. Um, and then I always like repurpose paper for like putting them in, um, my October daily or making a cover or making a dashboard. Um, this paper is a little bit thinner, so you might have to put a couple in and then laminate it, but it's just super cute. It's like paper, so it's very flexible and you can just glue it into your spreads as well. So, I mean, you could fussy cut these pumpkins out too. So super cute and just flipping it. I love the smell of it. <laughs> So you get an awesome paper pad um, that you can get from this collection. Again, everything's individually. Um, I'm not sure about the paper though. I think it may be a set, so super fun. So she's got these decorative, double-sided decorative paper. So you have like this haunted house scene. Um, it's so spooky and eerie. And these are just really great. I, I feel like if you have smaller children, I would use the, this in your planner as a memory portion and put like their costume, what their favorite candy was, or just journal about this year than it was before. So that's super cute. So this is perfect because you have this space. You could actually probably take this piece of paper and put it on here like this. And this actually fits a classic happy planner. So you can definitely punch this into your planner and this is good to go. So then you just have to journal and put a photo on it. So that is adorable. And then you have this one, which is more of the autumn leaves. 
And this is this side. And then you can also fussy cut this stuff out. Really cute. You can um, cut it down to size and put it in your planner cover, like to decorate, make some inspo cards. Um, then we have this one with the jack o' lanterns and ghost. There's the other side. So you have more of like a decorative side here and then more of a simple um, illustrations on the other side, which I really like that actually. So that way it's not busy on both sides. Okay, and then the last one here is the floral one. And on this side, it's just stripes. So that's really good too. And also if you like making books, um, when you flip it over, it's not as busy for fun. All right, next up we have acetate. And these are great for layering. Again, if you have like a TN, uh, a band system planner, you can place this in there. Um, you could actually still punch this in your planner. Um, I'm sure it could fit in a ring size planner. You just have to adjust the measurements, but this one's really thick. And this is great because you don't really find these in your local craft stores. Like acetate's really hard to find and this is cute and decorative. So the um, leaf one is pretty clear than the black one, but that's so cool. Okay, again, great for October daily if you're into that. Now we have the cover and then we'll do the washi. Okay, so this is a awesome cover. Like, it has a band here. It's stitched all the way around. It has one of the prints that she went off of um, on her paper here, but it's great quality. It's printed so well. It's soft and flexible. Um, on the inside, it's orange with spider webs, and it has plenty thing embossed here at the bottom pocket. And so it has these bands in here to fit other notebooks and journals that fit, but it is um, really great for a happy planner. So this is the classic size happy planner and you can just slide the back cover in the back and you can add your notepad to the pocket here. Um, you can add paper to it, but if you had other paper, of course, you could put that in there. And then the bands you can keep. It's all up to you, um, but you can put other notebooks in here. You could probably just make your own and add it to here. So it's super cute. I do, th I do think it's worth it to pick this up. This is just adorable. I know she's done like holiday ones, especially in her advent calendar. Um, she does like a Christmas advent calendar which I think is available for pre-order, by the way, if you guys wanna check that out. I did um, open mine up last year. You can find it in my Instagram stories, I think, um, but I definitely have a video on that as well. I will try to definitely post that one. But yeah, this is a beautiful planner cover, Halloween cover dedicated to that. Actually, you could use this for, um, for October Daily if you decided to do a big, a classic size. This is the Happy Planner Villain classic. Okay. I just want to see though, I have an Erin Condren 7x9 to see what that looks like. Okay, so this is an Erin Condren monthly. It's a 7x9. And of course, it has the coil on here instead of the disc system. And it actually fits. It does have like a lot of extra space here up at the top, but the band keeps it together. And then you put the um, the back end of the planner tucked in that, cor that pocket corner. <laughs> this pocket here, you just put that in there like that. So this is my wellness monthly planner so it just it would just be preference but it does have just a little bit maybe like two inches or one and a half maybe I don't know but I did want to share that in case you have an Erin Condren 7x9 and you were curious and not just a um, happy planner 
Um, it, so if you have a um, plum paper, this could probably also fit it. I think those run the same with Erin Condren. Okay, so let's dive into the washi. So I'm going to give you guys a close up of the washi and then I'm gonna go ahead and open everything up because it's just easier to share. It's really hard to see with the plastic on it. And then um, I'm gonna swatch it out and share up close. So here's the washi unwrapped. It's like a soft paper finish. It's super great. I love well, my favorite are the Halloween ones, but I love that she added like a grid and a stripe. Then you have like a decorative one. So it just flows really nicely. So I'm, I'm really loving this collection. And here it is swatched out on paper. And then I had to, um, I didn't have enough room. So I re-swatched this one and then there's the grid one. So that one's a really great one if you like fall. And again, you can buy these all individually. You don't have to have them in a set. So super cute. I love this one. Okay. So that was the Autumn Vibes Collection by Planny Thing. You guys gotta let me know if you're picking anything up. If you use the link, thank you so much. It does, um, wonders for Amber in her shop. I just love supporting her. I've been with her for a while now and I love seeing her um, company grow, which is super cool to be a part of. So yeah, um, if you use the link, I appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, stay safe and happy planning. Bye.